Hello guys, uh, in this tutorial we're gonna create this red fire track 3D model from the scratch and as you see we have only this one image and no other real blueprints so we're gonna eyeball this again okay let's <coughs> first see what is this model look like so we got small parts it consists only from the small parts so let's create these parts first let's create this base like this and it's long much more longer than this okay and from here it gets up but actually it's a different part separate part so we do like this let's make it like this so let's convert it to a little poly and make it a little bit shorter and this part too let's add two edges here connect and add two edges make a little bit wider okay and let's extrude this part and this part now we have only this part so let's select this and select this and press extrude now we adjust this length ourselves actually we can make it this the center part much more wider so select these vertices and scale like this good and okay let's select these vertices and make them longer okay and now we need this kind of stick to the front and we basically create this stick from the model itself now let's shift and drag our polygon and make it separate object and now we need to center our pivot okay and now let's make it a little bit bigger like this and add the shell modifier to it shell. and make it a little bit bigger too and now we add edit poly modifier and chamfer these edges because if you look to the picture this uh, part of the model is rounded so we press chamfer and make it bigger and add edges here good okay now we look to the bottom part back part we just need to add this kind of boxes here and now uh, I guess I'm gonna make it from this model to select these polygons and shift drag make them separate objects and now make them smaller now let's make the pivot to the center and now let's add our shell modifier uh, we are doing this parts separate because for the final rendering we're gonna need separate texture for these parts and for these parts so the textures will be different that's why the, it's better to have separate objects now let's convert to editable poly and add the chamfer to these parts okay but as you see when we chamfer the edges go differently because 
we scaled the model to fix this let's go to the utilities panel and reset the X form press reset selected and now you see we have X form here and now let's convert it to editable poly and now do the same and as you see now the chamfer works normally now let's add different edges several edges okay it's good let's make it a little bit small okay now what we need is to add these parts okay we're gonna make these parts from the original model too let's first select the original model and select these edges first we need to make the edge like this because as you see the edge is not straight a little bit forward the upper edge now we can select these parts and shift drag and make the separate object and now we can select the edges of this object oh we are on original model so we select the newly created object and center pivot now select this back edges and make it close okay okay now let's add the shell modifier now let's convert to the poly and make it like this okay now it's good so we also need to add this box here we also create this box from the model or maybe we just duplicate this and make the box out of it so uh, it's nearly half of the height of this model so it's okay and now let's make it like a cube okay and even we need to make it wider so let's select these two inside vertices and let's scale it like this okay now let's add the wheels and we create the wheels from the cylinder uh, of course it's obvious we create like this <coughs> so we don't need this much edges here so we make it only one and make this 16 I make it always 16 because when we turbo smooth it, it it will be much better with the 16 because it's dividable to 4 I, it's my personal choice you can do it differently so let's look to the wheels so we have like detail here and the extra detail here it's visible here Oh, we have or oh, we also have these details. So let's add those back and convert to editable poly. <coughs> Select all these edges, inside edges, and make loop and extrude. And we're gonna extrude it inside. Okay and now let's add the details we delete this polygon and do it by hand so we go like this we go like this we 
we go like this and we go like this we come back we shift track inside and then we go back I hope it is exactly what we need now after doing turbo smooth I'll be able to see if I'm right or if I'm wrong so we go back part 2 okay now and let's select back part and here and make bridge so let's add turbo smooth okay somehow looks like but the center part is really small my wheel is not so small so let's take this and glow grow 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 and make it smaller and like this also we select this edge this edge and make chamfer okay and let's see we have this part like two extrusion inside we make it a little bit wider okay and let's extrude inside okay I hope it's what we got what we need and let's select this edge and make it white okay now let's see oh it's roughly the same but we need to make the edges much more sharper so let's select this edge and ring and then scale okay and now let's select this 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 edge also these edges because we want okay let's come to this now loop and chamfer but we make chamfer very very small also we select this edge and make chamfer too but make it a little bit bigger and now let's select these two edges and this 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 and this and now let's chamfer them too but it's really small chamfer okay now we got something like the real wheel we have also we need to have uh, this edge really sharp so we select this edge and chamfer it too okay and we add let's add this sphere like object here let's add one edge loop here and select this polygons and extrude or bevel and make it lo with local normal and like this and okay now let's add this spherical object inside and align it to our wheel let's make it centered and okay and let's make it 20 and convert to editable poly and add make it bring it a little bit back grow like this because it's not 
really sphere. It's a little bit like this. Okay, now let's copy, make it group and duplicate. Let's make it a little bit smaller and a little bit more to the back and then copy this. Let's make instance. Okay. Now it means we need to make this part a little bit smaller. Like this. <coughs> okay. Even I think it's we need to make it like this. And we also adjust this base model according to the upper like this okay now <coughs> sorry we add this kind of wooden boxes here we can make it from the original model too let's shift drag and select the newly created object and add the shell modifier okay actually it's okay now we need to come to the tool poly and adjust the size this and make it a little bit smaller from back side and select this edge and chamfer and make it a little bit smaller again and now I think this box is really big. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Like this and let's bring this box closer. Okay. And make it duplicate. Okay, and now we need to add this seat. Let's attach them together and change the color so that it's easy to see which object is where. Also, let's see what we got here. We got one big box here. We also have one small box under these boxes. So I guess it's. So let's make it from this original model too. Shift drag. Mm, let's add shell modifier. And we also see that these boxes are realistic to this place. So it means our this box should be same with this edge and this box should be same with this edge. And it means our boxes needs to be smaller, much more smaller than they were previously okay okay 
and let's adjust the height okay good now let's make it a little bit thicker see we have one and a big box going through entire model so let's do it like this box close convert a little poly until the front still here and our this box is really bigger like this okay let's change the color okay okay now what we need is the box here let's shift track and make separate object and bring it closer here and scale to make it fit and scale it upwards okay and we also need one big box behind the seat let's change the color Select, go back, make it element. We don't want it to be the separate object. Make it bigger. Make it back to the little bit more to the back. Okay, and now let's add the seat itself. So let's copy this. make it object and change the color now let's make the pivot to the center make it a little bit bigger and let's make the spine part by rotating Let's make it straight and move this box. Let's make let's take the pivot to the center. Oh and these are not separate objects, that's why. So let's detach these objects. Or maybe not. We just make it bigger and make closer to this spine part of the seat. Now let's make them a little bit round so we select all edges and that chamfer and we need to add another x4 modifier here because the chamfer is not working right because we scaled the model let's add the x form reset and convert it to poly again and i guess we need to add to the same as this back part go to our tilties, reset selected and convert to editable poly and now let's add chamfer make ring and that chamfer okay but I think uh, from back we have a straight back and these parts are rounded so we take only this part and make chamfer make it bigger and that more edges okay but for the seat we need to add 
chamfer to all edges. So I make a chamfer. Okay, and make it round. Okay. We can add chamfer to the back to the side too. For this, select the polygons of this model, the edge polygons, and press Ctrl and select edge. So all the edge edges on the sides are selected and now I chamfer. Okay. Good. Let's do the same with this model too. Select side polygons and control click to the edge. Now that all the edges on the sides are selected, now press chamfer. And let's make it a little bit less and add small amount of edges. Okay. Now let's see what we left. Okay, now we nearly have a back part ready. Let's add this red something here. Let's select this polygon and shift drag, make it separate object. And let's move it back to the place. Let's change the color. Now let's uh, adjust the pivot, make it center. Now scale. Okay, and now let's add shell modifier. Let's add shell modifier. And now as we scale the model, we need to add reset X form. Make it a little poly again and now select these edges and chamfer it to make it round. Okay, let's make the sides round too. Chamfer. Let's make it a little less. Okay. Now let's add <coughs> these parts. For this, I think I'll do all everything from cylinder. Let's select the cylinder. Let's create a cylinder like this. And like this okay now let's make it another one okay. also we need to delete these five unnecessary segments and now we need a bigger one so we shift and scale and make it copy and let's make it a little smaller and let's make it 24 and convert to editable poly okay now we need to rotate this model a little bit so that it's not the vertex here. I want this part to be straight. So I select rotate and rotate it a little bit. Okay, now it's good. And, uh, now we got, we take this bottom part and take it down. Okay, good. Let's take it back. Let's make it okay. 
Okay, we need to copy it one more time to the back. Okay. Let's attach everything together and bring it closer to the model. Let's duplicate. Okay. Now it looks like something like our car, but we still have work to do. Okay. Now we <coughs> need to make a ladder. So let's count how much how many sticks we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess nine. Yes, let's do the ladder from this. Let's copy and let's delete this and scale it down and rotate it like 90 degrees and place it to the center and now make it a little bit bigger okay now we need nine copies of it so let's select the make the pivot to the center and add residix form and convert it to poly now we need to copy it eight times to make it nine and we need to create these sides and we can do it from the box like this we can then chamfer them sides so let's convert to editable poly uh, select the round edges and chamfer okay <coughs> Now let's make it close to the sides. Okay, a little bit more. Good. Now let's attach all of them together. Let's make it a little bit less wider and now it's okay let's change the color to see it clearly like this and let's place the pivot here it correctly okay okay let's duplicate the wheels we then rotate it 180 degree Okay, 
so the back part is ready now we need to create the front part front part we have one box here and let's create this box from the original base let's shift and scale make it separate object and change the color let's change color to the something different and make it up okay now let's create this part let's make it high and a little bit less wide and it starts basically from this angle and we got it we make it a little bit okay it's good it's good and now we make it chamfer like this part it's round like this and like this so we take these two edges and make chamfer make it a little round and also we select this front part and select these edges and make it chamfer okay now let's cancel it and make this reset selection and then try again okay edges are selected and now chamfer okay let's make it <coughs> round and let's make it a little less so that the problem will not appear here okay good oh no it's like it seems it's a little bit more and not so round so let's press ctrl and z and chamfer let's take this back okay now let's make it with hand select this edge and scale scale and move it down and scale like this okay and take this edge and bring it up Okay, now let's select this polygon and make it to the front and then select this upper vertices and make it down. Okay, now we need to create this front part. Okay, let's create the box from this part again press shift and scale okay and copy let's change the color okay let's scale like this select this top polygon and bring it up like this and select this back polygon and bring it to the forward like this now we'll, let's take these two edges and make it round chamfer okay <coughs> now I think we need to select this vertices and make it to the right and then center the object like this now we need to create these two and we are gonna create these two from this object like copy and change the color and 
connect these vertices to these vertices press connect ok and now select this lower part and detach ok now close the border of this upper object and select the lower one to close the border of these two but make it a little bit lower now we got two separate objects and now let's <coughs> change the color and select both of them and scale Okay, make it bigger. Make bring them forward and make this part a little bit right. Okay. And now let's uh, add these lights. And they are basically the spheres. Spheres. and let's make it 32 and convert it to poly let's scale it like this no like let's scale it like this and select the center edge and split now delete this front part and select the border and shift and drag now uh, shift and bring it forward now cup by doing this we have this great looking to great looking headlight select all the polygons and auto smooth now let's see it's attached to the bottom so let's attach one and now the second okay okay good and now let's attach one to here And this one is bigger, I think. Okay, now what we left is this part and the steering wheel. Okay, now let's create a tube, or maybe it's just a cylinder. Create a cylinder. Come to editable poly and now let's select the polygon and delete this front and up up and down polygons and now let's draw the polygons just like we want now let's shift and drag and shift and drag like this and now shift drag to the bottom and again shift and scale and now press collapse and now we can select this edge and extrude it down make it smaller okay and now let's select this bottom part shift and drag and one more time now we shift and drag it to down 
we just need to chamfer these two sides chamfer okay now let's make turbo smooth to see how it's going how it goes turbo smooth okay it's just like we want now take to the right place and make it like two and see it's not too much space between steering wheel and the seat that's why uh, let's correct this and it means we need to take everything to the front to the back a little bit now we just need to adjust the lower part and now <coughs> select all the edge vertices and take it back okay okay now what we left is this pink box we make it smaller and our model is ready As you see, uh, what we left is little cylinder here, or it's sphere, I don't know. Just make it center and bring it up like this. Next tutorial, we're gonna add materials and render. Okay, thank you for watching us. See you again.